Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to day 48 of this Unity Game Development Journal. So, today I worked on a little f uh, development feature, I guess. Not really a game feature, but a way of developing the um, maps where I can place um, object icons here onto this map on a whole separate layer called Game Objects. And um, what the then I wrote a little editor script that would look for these objects and then replace it with prefabs into the um, the actual prefab world setup in the Unity engine. So let's just see here if I can select this. So I have this little image here I selected. This is just a, an object on the map, totally separate from the tiles. Uh, but in here I create a custom property and called it sign. And then I haven't really done this feature yet, but I'll, I'm going to have like a key code where it'll reference a uh, block of text that I can then import into the um, into the game object. So I haven't completed that that part yet, but it does go through my uh, little editor script. We'll look through all the map data, find all these objects, and if it sees one called sign, it'll import or uh, instantiate a sign prefab into the world. So essentially that's what I was trying to do. So I, I have that working in tiled. When you go into Unity, um, uh, let's see if I can just go into a scene here. Uh, whoops, save, I don't need to go there. I'll go into Alina here. And then this is the imported world here um, from the, the imported map, I should say. And then I have this category here, game objects, that's automatically created. And the script is going to go through and create the sign basic, which is the prefab I, I instantiate there. And this is a prefab from, let's see if I can just pull that up into objects, sign basic right here. Okay, so it does that and it sticks it in in the appropriate spot, sets it all up, and let's take a look at how that works here. I also tied that into a... Um, a, a new UI uh, piece. So I'll, I'll show you that real quick before we get going here. So I have in the UI, I have um, a page text display. Let's turn that on. So it has just a little area that will show up here. It has like a title, a scrollable content, and a little image representing a sign. There's going to be another image representing a book or a, or a letter or something like that. So just a really clean UI that I can have pop up with the text. So I'm going to go through and just run this and we'll take a look at what happens. So I'll go full screen so we can see it a little bit better. Go into the new game here. And I wonder, I don't think, there is background music, but I don't think the recording is recording the computer sound. So uh, we'll get to that one of these recordings. Um, so anyways, there's a sign that was inserted in using the tiled program. So I can come up to it, hit my uh, interaction key. And then this thing fades in, and we have the West End sign, a little title that shows up. And then the sign content here, this is an amazing sign. I can't move like I have had in the past. I'm totally frozen here. But if it interact once again, it fades out. I also have it set up where I can do multiple versions or multiple pages of text. So maybe I have a bulletin board with a bunch of different stuff. It'll, I can cycle through all the different uh, pieces of content. So really, really cool. So that's sort of what I worked on today. It's, uh, you know, I've had a lot of that feature done in the past, but I'm trying to just put a lot of these different pieces together um, to create the final game here, at least the first level, to get a uh, prototype up and running. So I'm really, really happy with the UI and how this is uh, working. And the big change, I suppose, is being able to create this sign from the level editor of Tiled. Uh, what I'm trying to actually do is to get a system in place where I can design an entire level with uh, tiled, import it into Unity, and it just creates itself using all the scripts and components that it requires automatically. And I can just sort of go back to the tiled editor and visually design a level out that way, which I think will be pretty interesting. So this is sort of a, a big step in that direction, having the sign automatically create itself. So that's all I'm going to show today. It was a short day. It is uh, Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, so uh, there's not as much developing this weekend. But tomorrow I hopefully will be able to do uh, quite a bit more testing with this tiled concept. And we will uh, talk to you later. So thanks for tuning in. If you want to follow along with the development of this game, please subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, comment below, and we'll see you in another video. Maybe probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.